Hello crafty friends! Today we're going to make a quick and easy card of encouragement using our Cricut Expression and the Cricut Light Recess Cartridge. So let's get started! <laughs> Welcome back to Cards TV, everyone. This is Mary, and if this is your first time here, I hope you'll take just a second and tap that subscribe button, and don't forget to ring that little bell so you'll be notified each time I post a new video. Now, for our quick card of encouragement today, as I said, we're going to use the Cricut Light Recess Cartridge. Now, I've got a white card base. This is a portrait-style card. It's four and a quarter by five and a half when folded. And you know how I love layers. And this is going to be just a white, black, and yellow card. And our first black layer is going to be four by five and a quarter. And we're going to go down a quarter of an inch for each layer. The yellow layer is three and three quarters by five. And the black layer is three and a half by four and three quarters. I'm going to get my art glitter glue and get all these attached to my card base. Now for the next layer, I cut a piece of white cardstock at 3 and 3 eighths by 4 and 5 eighths. And it doesn't look white, does it? That's because I got this new stencil. Where is that? Here it is. I was hiding it from myself. This is like a sunburst or a sunray. And what I did, because I wanted it to start in the center, I went ahead and taped it down. And then I used some Tim Holtz Spiced Marmalade for the center. That's where you see the darker rays. And when I had that done, I took the stencil off, and then I went over the whole uh, piece of cardstock with some fossilized amber. And I use this uh, cosmetic brush. It's just like a blending brush. And you can see what a great job it did. And as I said, this is 3 and 3 eighths by 4 and 5 eighths. And I went ahead and did my sentiment as well down here. I cut a piece of black cardstock at a half an inch wide. And I used some Versamark ink and stamped Let Your Light Shine and that's from the Cards TV Favorite Phrases stamp set right there and then I used some uh, ultra fine white embossing powder and I love the way that looks and I just put that across the bottom and trimmed off the sides so I'll go ahead and get this attached. For the image that's going right here in the center, I went to the Cricut Light Recess Cartridge. And this is in the very first column. And it's the last cut on that page. And it's this cute little light bulb. And here it is right here. I've already put it together. But I cut the bottom layer out of black. The light bulb layer is out of yellow. Then for that filament... I cut that out of black, and then for the bands where the light bulb has the screw ring around it, I cut that out of gray. And you might notice this does not have a heart on it, but I wanted a red glittery heart, so I just grabbed a little punch and punched one out of some glitter paper. And I went ahead and got this all glued together, got my little heart on there, and then I took some more of that Tim Holtz. Let's see, spiced marmalade and that blending brush. And I just went around the edges of this so it would kind of blend in with the rays coming out from here. And I thought it turned out really cute. Now I cut this little light bulb at three inches. I've got it on some foam tape. And we're going to take that off, get this on the front of our card, and you can see what a quick little card this is. I had a lot of fun making this one too. But I think this is a great card of encouragement. So here's the card for this week's Tuesdays with the Cricut Expression. 
I hope this has inspired you guys to go through your cartridges and pick out some images and make some cards. It's just so much fun and there's so much in those cartridges that sometimes we don't even see. Just sit down and go through them and see what you can find. Thanks so much for coming by today, guys. I've really enjoyed spending time with you today. And I will see you again soon with another card. Bye now. Music